Here's a quick video to introduce you to the replace feature in VBA. You ever see those emails that are really annoying like this that uh, use parentheses dot instead of an actual dot? Um, you ever want to make one yourself? Uh, there are ways to do that with replace. Let's say we had a thousand emails here and we had to change them all to one or the other. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let me shrink this up a bit. Go to the immediate window here. Let me shrink this up a bit. Here we go. So the replace function is pretty straightforward. If I question mark the active cell, let's see, question mark uh, active cell dot value, oops, value, you'll see I have James dot uh, or James dot Gaskin at BYU dot edu. If I go like this, replace active cell dot value, find what to replace? Let's find every instance of the string dot. So that's got to go in quotes, and let's replace it with another string. Um, that, so it has to be in quotes. This is going to be parenthesis dot parenthesis end quotes and parenthesis. And this is what you get: James dot Gaskin at BYU dot edu. And we can do this the other way around. Let's uh, change our active cell down to here, uh, C5, and let's say question mark replace active cell dot value. Find what? Find this really annoying dot, D-O-T, oops, D-O-T, and replace it with an actual dot. And there you go. You can transform that annoying email address back into something that's usable. So again, doing this one at a time in your immediate window is not that practical, but let's say you had 10,000 emails in an email list, and you wanted to go find all the ones that had D-O-T in them instead of an actual decimal. I've actually had to do this for a different project. Um, well, a quick way to transform them would be to uh, throw them all into a loop, right? And as you're looping through each of those email addresses, check to see if it has a dot in it. And then if it does, go ahead and replace that dot with an actual dot. So that's the replace function. Pretty straightforward. Hope that helps.